back. It's Seek on the Speed 252 with another episode. As you guys can see, I am sitting inside the 2020 C8 Mini Engine Corvette. And before I get started in this video, let me tell you some things. A lot of people have been asking me, am I Zara's offspring? No, I'm not. I really have a great relationship with GM. You know, just the opportunity to be inside of this car is freaking phenomenal. Um, they gave me the car, the permission again, also along with the keys. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm a little excited about this. So if some of my words get slurred or anything like that, please forgive me. Um, they actually gave me the keys to this car as well. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was this close to actually test driving it. Um, being one of the first YouTubers in the country to test drive it, actually. Um, five people said yes, the big wig said yes, Tej and all those guys said yes, but then it went down to one more decision, that person said no, so unfortunately I wasn't able to drive it. But it's all good, because right now we are sitting inside the C8 Manager Corvette. So what I want to do is, I want to give you guys another quick tour of uh, some of the aspects this car has to offer. And I'm telling you right now, if you haven't got an opportunity to sit in one of these yet, because they're going across the world, you're going to love it. And I think that, you know, this car has a lot to offer the car world, the supercar world. And I personally believe this car at some point, if not already, will be in a supercar territory. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about some of the things that I love about this car already. And I think there'll be some things you love as well. Now I'm going to point out a few things that reminds me of the C7 um, that they actually added to the C or improved it or made it better. One thing I want to talk about that um, that is in the C7 and the C7, they make it catered to the driver. So the C8, in my personal opinion, is also catered to the driver, except it's catered to the driver a little bit more than the C7. So if you take a look at this here, this is actually a little bit longer, obviously, in a C8. But when you look at the C7, it kind of stops right here. There's no buttons on it in the C7 because all the buttons are on the dash. But as you can see here, you got the, you know, the, the climate control. You can turn up and down the heated and cool seats. Let me remind you, this is a 3LT package. So this got all the bells and whistles that you're looking for. So you got, you know, the sink. You got the, the. I mean, pretty much everything you can talk about, the AC, the power, the max, the rear, the heated and cool seats. I mean, you have everything here. So let me go down this really slowly so you can take a look at all the buttons for yourself. And once again, I wanna give a shout out to Chevrolet for giving me another opportunity to be um, inside of this car by myself and you know be able to take some good photos, good quality videos of this car. And I can't thank you guys enough for all the opportunities you have given me. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna represent the Chevrolet brand really well. This is the most selector. Um, well, I'm not exactly sure how this works. I guess I may have to actually, you know, push the button here. I do have the key, so maybe, maybe it's not a, yeah, there it is. Push the brake start, so you can see right there that comes up. Um, here's the screen. One question that was um, asked to Taz, and I actually asked it, was why did you guys no longer did the screen that goes down anymore? He said there wasn't any space for that. There wasn't anything to accommodate that space, which is completely fine. I personally like this idea a lot better. It looks futuristic. Um, you see more of these things in like Mercedes Benz and BMWs how it's on the screen right here, but I like how this actually is sitting right here. You take a look at the glove box. A lot of people uh, talk about if there's enough space, you know, what about the glove box? If you push this button here, you can see the glove box come down. You got an envelope in there from GM. I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna open it. That's not my business. Um, but this is pretty cool. The button is actually right here, which is easy to obsess and um, access. And then you can see that the AC and the heat vents are right here as well. Pretty cool. Definitely different from the C7 Corvette. Close it there. Once again, you can see this is a 3LT package. You got all the carbon fiber pieces. You have the seats here and the red seats belt. You see the Steamray logo right here. See, it's like it's a speaker right here. And this glass right here is pretty amazing. So, I had the opportunity to drive the Acura's NSX and it had that same exact glass right behind me. And a lot of people ask the question, does the noise, the rear engine, mid engine in the back, um, can you hear your radio over the engine in the back? And you can absolutely hear it. Um, I think Chevrolet did a great job with that. Now, once again, I did not drive the car, but in my personal opinion, I think that you will um, be able to enjoy your music while the engine's behind me because I actually end up driving the Acura's NSX. X. And I can tell you this, me and the salesman had a great conversation with the music down low and still be able to hear ourselves talk over the engine and back. But I will admit though, I had way more space in the C8 mini engine Corvette than I did in the Acura ZNSX. It was very uncomfortable in the Acura ZNSX. And I tell you one thing, I feel super comfortable in this car. Got a lot of leg space. You know, my legs aren't scrunched like this, which is that's exactly the way it was in the Acura ZNSX. And I'm, I'm loving this. You know, I wish I had the opportunity. I wish they would have said yes to me driving it because I can tell you one thing, I would have definitely appreciated it. As you can see here, all the pedals right here. The engineer said these pedals actually are hooked directly into the transmission so you don't get that delay um, when you're actually pushing, the, uh, pushing the, uh, the paddle shifters. And I can't wait to actually use these because I love the paddle shifters in my C7. I just recently started using those. My friend Michael, you know, showed me how exactly how to use those and it was freaking phenomenal. So Michael, thank you for showing me that. And you see right here, you have the Z mode, um, which is a mode that 
is catered to the driver, you can actually change the different suspensions and things like that while you're driving this car. And I actually can't show you how to use that right now because the car is not on. You can see this car has 303 miles. This is the one that's getting toured around the world right now. Um, and I'm so glad to be doing this inside of the actual booth where there's pretty much nobody else in here except for me and the guys that you know are taking care of me. The guys are freaking phenomenal. As you can see right here, you got the Bose speaker system. This package comes with 14 speakers. The Stingray comes with 10. Um, you can see right here as well, here's the set button. Here's the one and the two. And you can use that to adjust your seats however to your light. Carbon fiber pieces right here as well. This is where you can roll down both windows and how you can adjust the outside rear view mirrors right here as well. I'm telling you right now, this car is freaking great. I'm going back to the dash again because you can clearly see the carbon fiber pieces right here as well. Now for me personally, this is my truest opinion about the carbon fiber pieces. They look great. I love them to death. It costs pretty much more than I want to spend for them. So I'm trying to stay within my budget if and when I decide to get a C8 engine Corvette. But I can tell you one thing, if you get the carbon fiber pieces on your car, you will absolutely love each bit of it. I mean, you can clearly see it right here as well with the trash control. Here's the front end lift button right there. Here's another button that says front, which has a camera in the back. So I'm assuming it's the front view camera. I'm gonna mash this button just to see exactly what it does. It does nothing, because um, the car is probably still not on. So this button right here is obviously park, rear, neutral and drive, and then manual mode. I love this. This is my one of my favorite parts about the car because it looks super exotic to me. And I can tell you right now, I'm so excited to be ready to push this button. But once again, I don't own one of these yet. And I hope that the bank will say yes to me. If not, Chevrolet, if you guys can give me a C8, that would be absolutely phenomenal. I can tell you right now, I make sure the Chevrolet brand is recommended as much as I possibly can. Because you guys see my C7. Like, it's a chrome wrap C7 with vertical doors. And it's freaking amazing. Now, I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just saying it looks really great. So if you take a look at this, this is a start engine stop button, which is the same thing in the C8, um, same thing in the C7, but I like this a lot better. It's the round one, and the C7 is a square. Really, um, I don't dislike it, but I like this one a lot better. It's very unique, very different. Here's the home button, which makes me feel like I'm tapping on an iPad right now. And I just can't wait to get behind the wheel one of these things. As you can see here, here is the turn nozzle for the windshield wipers. I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, I don't know. And so you can see right here, they actually scared the crap out of me because I had no idea what that was. But here you can see the windshield wipers where you can turn it on and off. Same thing right here as well. So I'm gonna get out of here and let's go look at the back. And you see this button here gets you out of the car. So as you can see right here, this is something that if the car battery dies, this is how you operate it manually. You lift this button here and you can actually get out of the car manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you all. For you all that never actually had to use it before, and if you're watching this video, you will learn exactly how to get out of a C8 or a C7 if the battery is dead. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close the door again. I'm gonna pull this, and it allows you to get out of the car if the battery is dead. You can see the C8 Stingray logo here is going backwards, but there you go. Once again, thank you, Chevrolet, for giving me a private tour and opportunity to have this car loaned to myself. Um, my followers greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, any of you Chevrolet guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you definitely should do so. Um, for all my new followers, you all welcome. Definitely subscribe to the channel. So let's get out here. And oh, before I get out, let's talk about these cup holders. So a lot of people complain about the cup holders in the C7. I will say this. Chevrolet did a great job with these cup holders. I think you will enjoy these a lot better. They're a lot deeper, and I think you will be able to hold any drink or cup that you decide to wish to put in this car. Here is also the armrest, if I can get it open. Right there, you can see all the plugs. Here's the Apple plug, the SD card, and all that good stuff. The auxiliary cord goes in here as well. Pretty freaking crazy. I like all this. Take a look. As you can see right there, you can charge your phone. If it's capable, which I believe it is, depends on if you got an Apple or Android. I'm sure both of them work depending on um, if there are any extra things you need to do. I don't know that yet because I haven't actually decided to um, look into that just yet. So let's get out of the car. This actually has the C7 as well. The C7 has, you just push it. Gas as well. There's no gas cap at all in this whatsoever. So that's another pretty cool thing about this. And you can only get in this if the car is unlocked. If the car is locked, you have to worry about nobody getting in. We're gonna shut the door. Pretty cool. So this is one of my favorite parts about the car. And you know, as this car was getting built, a lot of people question whether or not this will actually be there. I actually love it either way. 
and I can't I can't really say I would rather not have it with it I mean I think I like this a lot um, for a lot of you the door handles up on here if you had never had an opportunity to actually open up a C8 Corvette this is how you do it just like that so let's walk around here where you see the LT2 motor now in the back here you can see the hood of the car which fits in here it's perfect um, you can put things up under here as well and as you can see this space is the best space ever why because a lot of guys love being able to modify their engines and the best part is you get to see your motor this time other like when you buy the c7 and things like that you don't get to see the motor now in the c c7 zero one you do get to see the supercharger that's about it this has corvette on the motor right here this is an lt2 engine can see the catalytic converter right there you can see also see the carbon fiber pieces now the carbon fiber pieces is very special um, I'm assuming this has the engine appearance package which comes with the uh, carbon fiber and the lights underneath so you can light the motor as you are actually popping up the hood as you can see that's where you check the oil at that's the dipstick right here as well that's mobile one also right there now this is not where you check the oil I'm just pointing this out that it's right there Let's take a look at the rear spoiler as well. Now, a lot of people go back and forth with this spoiler, whether or not they like it. I actually like it a lot. Um, my friend Mike loves it. I mean, he absolutely loves his rear spoiler. If it was me, I would have to go with a highway spoiler, but to save some money, I'd probably go with this spoiler. And if GM, if you guys decide to give me a car, I'm not gonna complain. Um, I will literally park it in my garage and enjoy it and make as many great videos as I would with any other car you guys would give me. Um, let's take a look at the tail light. So I did another review on an orange um, C8 in the past at Kerbeck, and these lights are freaking amazing. I can tell you right now, I can't wait till you all see this. I'm not gonna turn them on now because I don't think I can, and I wanna make sure that I don't do anything to get myself in any kind of trouble. Um, you can see the exhaust tips are square. A lot of people were shocked by these. They was hoping that these would be circle or at least in the middle. I'm assuming with the rear engine or mid engine, they had decided to separate it apart, which is okay. I don't have anything to say again. It's, to me, it's just exhaust tips. You can see the sensors here when you're backing up. I'm glad you have those because this is a car you would love to have sensors with for sure. Um, here is the backup camera as well. You can see that right there. And obviously the tail lights are over here and i love this rear diffuser this to me <clears throat> a lot of people hope that the c8 came with a rear diffuser this is my good part of having a rear diffuser that definitely stands out i love it i love it it's I mean, carbon flash and um, i don't know if this would be something you can get as far as carbon fiber goes but i will say this carbon flash look extremely nice so let's walk over here to the mirrors these are pretty cool as you can see here it tells you i'm sure it has this lane assist objects in the mirror are closer than they appear which is always always in every single mirror that you actually buy this on the car i'm going to open up the passenger side door which is underneath and you can see the scene right right here as well and these are power seats as you can see this goes up this goes back you can adjust it right here Here is this as well, which pretty much deals with anything that's probably internal. <clears throat> this also has the manual lift. So if you, once again, if the battery dies when you're inside of the car, all you gotta do is pop this and this will open up the door manually. I wanna get a view from this angle as well so you can see the nozzles a little bit better. I'm gonna go super slow so you can see exactly what's down here. Now, when I get my own personal car at some point, I hope. I can see the speakers here as well. <clears throat> here is the mirror. Here is OnStar. Every Chevrolet product most likely has an OnStar button. Actually, I just realized this was here as well. I'm assuming this is for the Wi-Fi. Now, I'm going to explain these things as if my, this is my guess because I actually haven't had an opportunity to drive this car yet or sit down with somebody personally inside the car to give me all the aspects of the car. So, I'm assuming this is how you turn off your Wi-Fi. You know this is your hazard light emergency whatever the case would be own star and you can actually call voice i think this is like your telephone type of button and these are obviously for your garage as well which is pretty freaking cool um both system over here once again this car has 14 speakers so i can't wait to hear the sound in this car let's take a look as you can see back here i'm gonna get back here as far as i can now <clears throat> this is another intercooler that helps keep the engine cool in the back you know there's 
everywhere because it's, it's a harder to cool the car when the motor's in the back. So that's why um, you have, you'll have you see a lot more of these inside of supercars and sports cars of that sort, especially on the side. And there's only so many ways that you can actually build a miniature sports car. So what kills me is when people say, oh, the C8 looks like a Ferrari, it looks like a Lamborghini. There's really only so many ways you can actually build a miniature car, right? So I hate when people say it was copycat because literally in the word of my personal opinion, most people that come successful follow someone else's blueprint. Now there are some successful people without following other people's blueprint, but at the end of the day, I don't care. It's a managing car, and I definitely am super excited getting behind a wheel of one of these. So let's take a look at these wheels. You can see the carbon flash right here, machine <clears throat> right here as well, and this is a Z51 package like I mentioned before. Now once again, excuse me in my language because I am super excited to be talking about this car and the guys over there, I know they want to go home. So I don't want to hold them up from being in here too long. So I want to kind of talk about this car as quickly as I can to get out of specs. Now, I'm super excited to one day hopefully get behind a wheel of one of these, but at the end of the day, I'm going to enjoy each and every opportunity I get to have behind the wheel of this car when Chevrolet is giving me the opportunity to. And I can't thank Chevrolet enough for helping me um, you know, go to the unveiling you know, your know, curb back and, you know, being here today and literally giving me the opportunity to have this car one-on-one. -on -one. You guys don't understand, like, my channel is growing and I really greatly appreciate each and every one of you that watch my videos and subscribe and watch the ads. And um, Chevrolet, I, I literally can't thank you enough for giving me the opportunity with this car. I can literally go on days and days and days and I want to make sure I represent this brand really well. So I, I greatly appreciate my, my relationship with Taj and Harlan and General Motors in general. You guys are freaking great. Um, Let's go over here. Let's actually close this hill very quickly. Now this hill works just like if it was the C7 where you would bring it down and if you push on it, it closed by itself, just like that. So let's go over here. You have your seatbelt options, which is the standard. If it was me building a C8 and I had an opportunity to choose any of these colors, I don't know which color I would choose, but I know one color I will not choose, which is black. Why? Because black is pretty much standard in any car you buy. You guys know me, I like to make my car look different. I make, I wanna make it unique as I have a chrome wrap Corvette and people here at the National Corvette Museum loved it. They greatly appreciate it, said it looks nice. And so for me, I don't know which color I would choose, but I know the color I won't choose will be black because that is just standard in pretty much every car. Um, if you take a look at these here, you can see the mold selectors. You have your options, you have your colors. This is gonna be great. Um, if I had to choose one of these right now, I think I will go with the yellow stitching just because I feel like that'll be something different. You don't see too many um, yellow cars unless it's Corvette you know, related. If you see a yellow car, it's pretty much because they either painted themselves or they wrapped themselves or they did something crazy. Here is the um, center wheel, which is <clears throat> the microfiber wrap one. And I'll tell you right now, it definitely feels good. I like it a lot. Here are your key options. You can get the black symbol or you can get the chrome symbol depending on your preference here is the leather wrap steering wheel i love this as well i love this extra piece which is also over here as well and i think gm did a phenomenal job with this this has the z mode and chrome this had a z mode and chrome as well and they call this a 2020 corvette interior trim so if you're interested in the c8 minutes corvette i'm telling you right now go out there and see if you can find someone that has the allocations here is the bad to the bone c8 logo which is pretty freaking phenomenal Let's take a look at the tires here. These are the Michelin. Um, these are Pilot Sport All Season tires. Uh, 245, 35, 19. You can see right here the different wheels, the black Trident spoke, which is an accessory. The shown with accessory center cap. These are pretty cool, unique. These are the Sterling Silver Trident spoke wheels. These are the uh, Spectre Gray Trident spoke wheels. I like these a lot. These are the Carbon Flash wheels, which is on the C8 currently. And these are the blade bright silver open spoke wheels that all of mine comes with your car. Here are your color choices. Which color would you all choose? Now, GM, if you're watching this video for me right now, I don't care which color you give me. If you're willing to give me a car, just give me a color. It can be brown for all I care. Just, just give me a car, please. Um, I love the color burst. I think they did a great job of giving you some options. I know a lot of people said they would rather have, um, you know, a blue option as far as the caliber goes. But I think, don't quote me, I think the blue calibers are usually meant for the ZR1s. That was what I was told. But at the end of the day, whatever color you decide to go with, I think you would enjoy each and every one of them. So let's go ahead and wrap this up with the three seat options that you have which are the competition seats, and they say, please do not sit, so I'm not gonna sit in them at all. And the competition seats, 
a GT2 seat, and a GT1 seat. Now, for me, my preference, it doesn't really matter. As long as I can hold my butt, I'll sit in either one of them. And if GM's giving me a car, well, whatever seat they put in there, I'm down for that. And here is a poster of the C8 mini engine Corvette. And once again, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. And thank you, Tej. Thank you, Harlan. Thank you, all you guys who I spoke to today that gave me an opportunity to um, have this car to myself. And you know, I'm hoping to get one of the, behind one of the wheels of these things, whether it's my personal one or whether Chevrolet gave me the opportunity to come out and give me a one-on-one -on -one tour of this car and drive with me and all that good stuff. So if you haven't had a chance to see one yet, definitely go to your local dealership and see if they have one on tour. But at the end of the day, I think you'll like it. And once again, thank you for pushing that play button.